and it's palmed up. Exhale, bring them down towards your heart center, release. All right, come down to seated. Sing and cross your legs. Bring your knees or your ankles in line with your knees. So we take Sukhasana, sweet pose. Sit up with your spine long, lengthen through the crown of your head. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Wrists onto your knees. You're gonna bring your thumb. Bring, bring your thumb and index finger together. Bring your wrist onto your knees. Lengthen through the crown, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Mm. So we're going to take a few rounds of Kabbalabhati. So we inhale, breathing through our nostrils. Placing the tongue on the roof of the mouth. And as we exhale, we allow our abdomen to contract. So we're going to do three rounds, all right? So take your time and follow my breath. Or lead. As you inhale, exhale, begin. Take a deep breath in, allow the energy to rise, and as you exhale, send the energy down the base of your spine as it hits the hips, so your hips become heavy and sink into the earth. As you inhale, allow the energy to rise, rising up to the, the tip of your crown, as you exhale, send it all the way down. When it hits your hips, feel the hips become heavier and sink into the earth. Inhale, one more big deep, deep breath, so that you keep your breath deep even and long, and as you exhale, release. We're going to go for the next round. Inhale, three, two, one, begin. Inhalation, make the inhalation deep, even and long. Exhale, release. So make the breath smooth as we start to tap into that parasympathetic nervous system, which promotes rest and relaxation and restoration. Inhale, we go for the last round now. Inhale, exhale, begin. Inhale, deep inhalation. Make the breath deep, even along. Exhale. Send it down the opposite direction. So as you inhale, allow the energy to rise. And as you exhale. Okay, so now we're going to use a cleansing breath. Inhale, allow the energy to rise. And as you exhale, you can release a, a HA. So it's a on the way down as if you're trying to fog up a mirror. This is known as a cleansing breath. So inhale, and as you exhale, open the mouth, release. As you're releasing any tension from your body, inhale, exhale. Good. So now that the body should be nice and warm, you know, starting from Stimulating the solar plexus, sending the energy up towards our crown. We're going to rub our palms together. And as we rub our palms together, we're going to stroke our nose, bridge of our noses, seven times upwards. Good. Now rub your palms together again, briskly. And then we're going to circle our eye socket, seven times clockwise, seven times anticlockwise. 
as we start to get this stagnant energy in our face and our body moving. Rub the palms together. So you're going to take your fingers and you're going to pull your forehead apart. So fingers meet in the middle and you're going to bring your palms out to the side seven times. Remember to breathe, so keep the breath deep, even along. Good. Rub your palms together again. And then you're going to bring them down into your, into your hair. So from the from the airline all the way back down to the neck back. Good. Shake out your hands. Now we're going to do what something that they call tapping, just to start to get the energy to, so we can start to tap certain pressure points in our body and start to get the energy to flow. So take your middle finger and gently tap the crown. It's nine times. Same middle finger and gently tap the first eye nine times. Same middle fingers are going to tap just underneath your bone on the eye socket nine times. You're going to take that same middle finger and tap between your nose and your front lip nine times. Should feel sensitive. These are all pressure points on your body. Then you're going to bring your chin finger and bring it between your lip and your chin. Tap nine times. You're going to take those ten two fingers and you're going to tap just onto the first rib nine times. Lovely. So shake it out. Because everything is energy. So the reason why we have stress or blockages or pain is because of trapped energy. So this whole practice really is about getting the energy to flow so that you're in that flow state. All right, good. Relax. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to extend our feet out in front of us. Rotate our ankles five times clockwise, five times anti-clockwise. That's so an inhale, inhalation on the outside, exhale, bring your toes to meet in the middle. Five times clockwise, five times anti-clockwise as we start to warm up the joints in the body. From your toes, down to your ankles, to your knees. All right, so bring the soles of the feet together. We're going to gently bounce them out. So allow your knees, we're going to do butterflies, open up the groin. Releasing any tension we're holding there. All right, so cross the left foot. So the left foot is underneath you. The soul bending the right knee, sole of the right foot on the floor. Left palm behind you. Raise that knee, that right knee. We're going to rotate our, rotate our knee five times clockwise, five times anti-clockwise. The big toe is the leader. Keep breathing. And then we're going to extend our feet up to the heavens so five times. Exhale as you extend. Inhale, release. 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 Exhale as you extend. Now we're going to switch and do the opposite side now. So the right palm is supporting behind you. The right leg is bent underneath you. The sole of the right, right knee. Left foot is bent, sole of the right foot. Foot is on the floor. Or left foot is on the floor, sorry. Taking your left forearm and bring it underneath your thigh. You're gonna raise that knee. Rotate five times clockwise. And then five times anti-clockwise. Good. Now, as you inhale, release that knee or ankle down to your torso. Exhale, extend it up to the heavens. Exhale, extend. Exhale, extend. Exhale, extend. Release. Good. So you're going to bring the soles of the feet together now. And we're going to allow our... We're going to warm up the hips. So we're going to allow our knees to pull over to the left and right. With the exhalation, exhale, allow your knees to pull over to the left. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, allow them to pull over to the right. 
Inhale, come back center, exhale, line and pull out to the left. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, line and pull out to the right. Now you can just simply switch it from left to right. So they are like windscreen wipers. So we're gonna do it five, five more times on each side. So really warm up your hips. Inhale, come back to center. Look, and cross your legs for me. It's just start to feel a lot looser from your toes up to your hips. Lengthen, raise the bums up, palms onto the shoulders. So you're going to rotate our torso from left to right. Inhale on the left, exhale on the right. Start to warm up the spine, loosen or release the neck. Come back to center, extend, raise the palms up. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the palms down together. Soften the, bring the chin to the chest. And breathe into that lower back. Make the breath deep even and long as we start to oxygenate the body. We'll oxygenate the blood, which in turn will oxygenate the muscles. As we exhale, we release, we relax and soften. Inhale, raise the palms up. Exhale, release the palms down together. Good. So you're going to take your right palm onto your left knee. The left palm behind you, you're going to take a twist. As you exhale, you're going to rotate to turn from the lower spine. Open up the chest as you turn to look over the left shoulder. Try not to create any tension in your body at any time whatsoever. And just breathe and allow the breath to, to move you through your postures today. Using each exhalation as a means for relaxation, restoration. Releasing any tension that you're holding in the body. Inhale, come back to centre. Swap palms. So the right palm is behind you this time. And as lengthen through the crown, exhale, rotate. To turn to look over your right shoulder, open up. So you rotate from your lower spine, open up the shoulder and the head will fall naturally. Try not to create any tension in the body or any muscular effort. Keep the neck nice and long, chin parallel to the floor. And just breathe into it for me. Breathe into the twist. This is great for elimination and spinal alignment. Inhale, come back to center. Good. So from here, we're gonna raise the palms up. Palms touch, prayer position. Exhale, bring the back of the palms together. Exhale, release them down together. So we're synchronizing with our breath. Breath, synchronizing the breath with the movement. Inhale, bring the palms up. Back of the palms touch. Exhale, release them down together. Also getting our rotator cuffs mobilized. Inhale, raise the palms up. Back of the palms touch, exhale, release them down together. Inhale, raise the palms up. Back of the palms touch, exhale, release them down together. All right, so we're gonna really gonna get this energy flowing now. So your elbows are gonna come into the side. So I'm gonna make, point our fingers outwards, but when we bring them in, we're gonna make fists. So I'm gonna make an audible shoe sound. We'll do this 10 times. So three, two, one, begin. And on the 10th time, we're going to hold it in. Okay, now extend your hand, hands out in front of you. Fingers pointing, pointing outwards. Same thing again, 10 times. Get this stagnant energy moving in our body. Inhale, raise the palms up. Fingers pointed upwards. Three, two, one, begin. Lovely. Inhale, raise the palms up. So you're gonna bring your fingers towards your um, your palms, thumbs pointing towards each other. This is what they call the re ego eradicator. So we're gonna do a, like a a Kabbalah Bharti breath, <laughs> while keeping our palms up like this. 
So three, two, one, let's begin. Rapid in and out, breath through the nostrils, the abdomen contract. And as you exhale, bring the thumbs to touch above your crown. Release the fingers, exhale. Imagine you're releasing the white orb of fresh energy surrounding the whole of your body. They call that the ego eradicator. Good, lovely. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna come onto all fours. So palms or knees in line with your hips, palms in line with your shoulders. Good. We're going to rotate on our wrist three times clockwise, three times and the clock, clockwise. So let's begin. So little rotations, micro rotations, and then the opposite direction. Good. Right. And bring your palms. If so, the palms are facing outwards. So we're going to rock from side to side. To your fingertips we're going to start to warm up our scapula so it looks like this so do it 10 times clockwise 10 times anti-clockwise good right now you're going to take your thumb look at my hands so your wrist so your wrist is bending backwards but you're not putting a lot of pressure on it and you're simply just squeezing your fist, so you're making fists. Swap and do it on the other hand as well, the right hand, 10 times. Good. Now from here, you're gonna roll the toes under, you're gonna sit back onto your heels. So you're gonna sit back onto your heels. As you sit back onto the heels, bring your palms together. Clinch your fists, elbows together. So you're going to rotate your wrists 10 times clockwise, 10 times anti clockwise. Good. Shake it out. Place your palms onto your shoulders, bring the elbows together. We're going to rotate our elbows, our scapula, three times clockwise. So it's an inhale outside, exhale, bring the elbows to meet in the middle. Inhale on the outside, exhale to bring it in the middle. Meet, meet, elbows meet in the middle. Reversing the flow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Relax. Shake it out. Now we're going to come on to all fours. We're going to do what they call thread the needle, but before, but we, this is going to be um, a press up thread the needle. So we're going to do five. Do it five times. So inhale up, exhale down. One. In, start with the left side. Inhale up, exhale down. Two. Inhale up, exhale down. Three. Inhale up, exhale down. Four. Inhale up, exhale down. So bring the back of the left arm or right arm, elbow, shoulder, and ear onto of the earth as you extend through the right palm so the right palm is extending up to the walls of the top of the mat and just breathe for me so keep the breath deep even along focus your attention on the lower back and the side body bring back the right palm in line with your head inhale come up onto all fours so we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side so inhale, raising that left palm up, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, raise the left palm up, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, raise the left palm up, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, raise the left palm up, exhale, bring it down. And we're gonna plant it this time. So back of the right arm, left arm, elbow, 
ear and shoulder and left ear on to give the earth as you extend through the left or right palm. Bring the right palm towards the end of the top of your mat. Keep breathing, make your breath steep even along. Inhale. One. Inhale two. Inhale three. Good. Bring that left right palm back in line with your head. Come up onto all fours with me. So we're simply going to rotate forwards and exhale as we come back, come back onto our knees. So rotate forwards, exhale, come back deep into our knees. Inhale, rotate forwards, exhale, come back deep into our knees. Three times clockwise, three times anti clockwise. Good. Relax. So I'm going to do some cat cows now, loosen up the spine. So palms in line with your shoulders, spread your palm, palms in line with your shoulders or directly stacked, your shoulders directly stacked above your palms actually. Knees in line with your hips, so as we exhale toward the pelvis, soften the shoulders, chin to the chest. Inhale, reverse and flow, bring the heart to being forward, take your gaze up to the nose, not curl the toes. I mean, do not curl the tailbone, so the tailbone's going up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tilt the pelvis, soften the shoulders, chin to the chest. Inhale, reverse in the flow. Bring the heart center together as you look up towards the tip of your nose, glutes point towards the tailbone. Exhale, tilt the pelvis, soften the shoulders, chin to the chest. Good. Inhale, come up onto all fours. So place the palms, one hands and up in front of you. Exhale, come down onto, or bring your forehead down to the floor. And just breathe for me. Make your breath deep, even and long. So you're going to take your right palm and bring it in to your left elbow crease, bring your forehead onto the floor, or onto your forearm. Feel that nice curve in your lower back, in your lumbar spine, in your thoracic spine. Keep the breath deep, even and long. Releasing any tension you're holding in your hips. Inhale, bring that. Right palm back in line with your left. Exhale, bring that left palm in the crease of the right elbow. Exhale, bring the forehead down onto against the earth or onto the forearm. Keep breathing for me. Notice where there's any tension and send energy to that part of your body. Bring that left palm back in line with the right. Come up onto your palms. Bring the palms back in line with the shoulders. You're gonna roll the toes under, and as you exhale, you're gonna allow the hips to come up 10 times. Exhale, coming down. Or inhale, coming down. Exhale, rise. 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 Now hold it, this is the first downward facing dog for today. Come up onto the tips of the toes, and as you exhale, allow the heels to fall. Good. Inhale, come up on the tips of the toes, feel that lengthening, feel that stretch along the sole of your feet. Exhale, allow the heels to fall. As you exhale, come down onto your knees. You're going to inhale, raise that right, left knee up. You're going to do three rotations, three clockwise or five clockwise actually, and five anti-clockwise. I'm gonna switch and do the opposite side. Do it clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Now we're going to do work on our core. So what we're going to do, inhale, raise that right palm and raise the left leg. Extend all the, the left, the heel behind you. Root down through your left, wrap your left tricep and extend. Exhale, release. 
in hold. I'm going to extend the left palm and right foot. This is also an alternative to mat, to mat symbolizing balance. Ooh. Reciprocity and justice. Exhale coming down. So when you come down, palm, elbows on the floor, palms on the floor. Come down onto your abdomen. Forward onto the floor, roll the toes back. Exhale, coming up. So this is an alternative to plank pose. Exhale, come down. This helps to build up your core. Roll the toes under, inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. One more time. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Good. As they come up onto all fours, roll those toes under. We're going to come into a yogi squat. So, bring your elbows inside your knees, palms into prayer position. Lift up the chest. Lengthen through the crown, squeeze the glutes, join the navel, and as you inhale, come up to standing. Extend the palms all the way up to knot. Exhale, come down. So I just want you to sink with your breath. We're going to do this nine times. Noon, emerging from the primordial waters of creation. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release the palm, check back in. Palms into second, exhale, come down. Inhale, coming up. As you come up, you can release a cleansing breath. Hey, HA, release anything that you're holding in your chest, your heart space. All right, so let's flow with the breath. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. So squeeze the glutes, join the navel. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, gentle back bend. We're going to do this four more times. Inhale, coming up. And you raise the palms in the second. Exhale, coming down. So we're working or tuning into the breath. Flowing with the breath. That life force energy that's flowing through us. Because we're a prana meets prana. Draw the cosmic energies down from the heavens, Shakti, male energies, and the female energies. Oh, Shiva coming from the male energies, Shakti coming from the female energies, from the earth, rising upwards. Inhale, rise the palms into the technique, exhale, release the palms down towards your heart center. Release the palms to the sides, shake it out. All right, so feet in a V. Rotate our torso from left to right. She warm up. You can slap yourself if you wish. Gentle slap. Getting rid of that stagnant energy. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the palms to the waist. Feet in line with your hips. Lengthen through the crown. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, bring your crown back to center. Exhale, allow the crown to pull backwards. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take the gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take the gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. We're going to rotate our neck. So it's exhale, bring the chin forward. Inhale, rotate backwards. Exhale, forward. Inhale, backwards. Exhale, forward. Inhale, backwards. Exhale, forward. Inhale, backwards. Exhale, forward. Inhale, backwards. Five times clockwise. Five times anti clockwise. Inhale, raise your crown back to centre. When you're finished, oh good. Soften the knees, soften the hips, knees, hip rotations. 
So we're going to rotate our hips three times clockwise, three times anti-clockwise. Three, two, one, begin. Exhale on the end. We do this ten times. Switch and do the opposite side. As you inhale, bend the knees, raise the energy up. Above your crown, exhale, bring it down. Ground it. Bring the palms onto your knees, so you're grounding the energy, you're bending the knees. So we're going to rotate our knees three times clockwise, three times anti clockwise. Begin. Switch and do the opposite side. We do it 10 times. Lovely. Inhale, raise the energy up. Exhale, bring it down. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to rise up onto our toes. Bring your palms up, exhale, bring them down. So this is an alternative form of shoe. Exhale, coming down. So what's happening here? As I rise on my toes, I'm massaging my, I'm lengthening and strengthening the athlete's tendon and also my calves. So inhale, we're coming up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, 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 coming up. Exhale, coming down. Lovely. 